In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each of you. And with your spirit. We gather always around this table to nourish ourselves with the redeeming grace and mercy of God. And we pray for that redeeming grace with and for the whole church. Let us pause then to allow that grace to bring healing to each of us of body, mind, and soul. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, thinking not aright, let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for our transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our, of our training. He pro professes to have knowledge of God and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us, he is the censure of our thoughts. Merely to see him is a hardship for us. Because his life is not like that of others and different are his ways, he judges, as he judges us debased. He holds aloof from our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just and boasts that God is his father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With refinement and torture, let us put him to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred for their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God. Neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, the Lord is close to the, the broken heart. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The, the Lord, Lord is, is close, close to, to the, the broken hearted. The Lord is close to the broken hearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all, the Lord delivers him. The, the Lord, Lord is close to the broken hearted. He watches over all his bones. Not one of them shall be broken. 
The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the broken heart. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel to Judea because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where this man is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, You know me, and also where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him, because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. One can sense in the tone of the scriptures these last Lenten days that we are getting closer to Holy Week and our celebration of the redemption of humanity by God, who becomes one like us in our humanity, in Jesus Christ, fully human and fully divine, who embraces every suffering that is experienced by humanity, embraces it, even death, death itself. And he gains the victory over it, rising from the dead and opening again for all humanity a path to live our humanity fully, even in the midst of crisis and death, in a new way, a new creation, a redeemed way, the way the Creator intended it for us to live from the beginning. Lent is a time to come closer to Jesus, who, as he reminds us in the Gospel, comes from the one who sent him, who is the Father, the Creator, and who he is one with, as he tells us in another Gospel. Jesus has experienced, and God in him, all the suffering and rejection that the writer of the Book of Wisdom so poignantly points to in the first reading today. The insensitivity 
the envy and meanness of which the human heart is capable. In these last days of Lent, we seek to open our hearts to a different spirit, the Holy Spirit, a different attitude, that of Christ, that of the Lord who is close to the broken heart. That is the attitude that we in this moment all want to have. That is the heart of Christ. That is the heart of God made flesh. Yesterday I received from someone here at St. Labray in the donor's department a request for a prayer from a donor whose 50-year-old niece has a blood clot which the doctors are not able to remove because of where it is. It reminded me that at this time, where our hospitals are overwhelmed with cases from the new pandemic, they're still coping with all the other realities that they were coping with before. All the other cases of cancer that are there. All the other cases of heart problems and difficulties. Our world continues and God continues to hold in it all those who continue to suffer from homelessness and feel at this time, I saw on the news last night, someone who just bought their brand new home. And they have a not great job, but this was their first new home. And now this crisis, economic and health, hits. God is holding all of that in his hand at this time. He holds all of that humanity in his humanity and brings it to the cross in this time of Lent with Jesus. The horrors of war continue in our world. Refugees and all of their situations of despair continue at this time that we hear all the news only about one reality of suffering, but which is so tremendous and wide. Those who suffer from addictions continue battling their addictions. Those who live in the midst of domestic violence in this time in which people are living enclosed only fear more, especially if they are young people or children. Today we will be burying a dear soul, much loved here in the community, Rosie Gray. Funerals continue to happen. People continue to mourn. All of that humanity is held by God in Jesus Christ bought to the cross and through the cross to the hope that is ours. We bring to the altar today all of those who we carry in our hearts, those who are carried in the heart of the prayer of the church. As we bring to this table then, to this humanity of Christ who becomes flesh and blood for us, that grace that he has given us in the Eucharist. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and for all of us of the Church. O God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy. May this sacrifice cleanse us 
by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy, religious and laity. Remember your servant, Rosie Grave, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our other brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Martyrs, with Saint Labray, St. Kateri Tekwitha, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command,
command informed by divine teaching we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May that peace of the Lord Jesus be with each of you. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. able to receive communion today, we pray this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.